I may or may not have just filmed this entire video at the wrong angle. So, time to film the whole thing again. Let's get into the theory of why the Harold Shanarak is Shalon's mother. So this video is going to be broken down into five sections. First, some background on Shalon. Second, some background on Shanarak, the Harold that we believe to be Shalon's mother. Third, revisiting the night that Shalon killed her mother. Four, the words of Brandon surrounding Shalon and her mother. And five, the overall wrap up, what questions does this theory answer in sort of just filling in the gaps. Now, a few things before we start. First off, this video will contain full spoilers for book one all the way up through the prologue to Stormlight Archive 5, which was recently released. So if you have not read all of that, I would skip this video, go read those books and the prologue because it's awesome, and then come back. Second off, just a quick disclaimer, I did not come up with this theory. I do not know who did. I simply discovered the theory and thought it would be fun to go through it with you guys and to sort of break down and explain the theory because I think there are actually a lot of really great points and this might be my number one theory I think will be confirmed eventually later on in the Stormlight Archive series. Now in order to get all the information you need for this video I have compiled info from various Reddit posts, uh, the Copper Mine and the 17th Shard, as well as just information directly from the book. So I will be sure to link everything in the description down below if you want to go check it out for yourself and to credit the Reddit users that made the posts that I'm pulling information from for this video. Just some background for Shallan. Shallan had four brothers growing up, from oldest to youngest being Helran, Balat, Jushu, and Wickham. I'm sure I'm pronouncing all of those names wrong. Apologies in advance for any other names that I pronounce wrong in this video. Her father's name was Lynn, and her mother's name is unspecified. When Shallan was very young, she bonded with the cryptic spren that we now know to be Testament. Unfortunately, after killing her mother in self-defense, Shallan's oaths fell apart, or she did something to break them, or wasn't able to keep them up, and Testament ended up becoming the first Deadeye since the Recreants. Later, Shallan would go on to kill her father, and eventually she would repress all memories of her childhood and just refuse to acknowledge a lot of them before setting out to seek a wardship with Yasna Kolin after killing her father because her family's finances were falling apart and in order to save them, she needed to steal a working soulcaster, which she believed Yasna had. After attaining wardship with Yasna, Shallan eventually managed to make the switch with Yasna's soulcaster, but through a series of events discovered that Yasna's soulcaster was fake and that both of them are actually Knights Radiant and can soul cast without using a soulcaster. Shallan and Yasna then attempted to make the journey to the Shattered Plains to meet up with the rest of Yasna's family and Shallan's casual betrothed, Adel and Colin, but on their way there, there was an assassination attempt on Yasna's life and the boat ended up sinking or being soul cast to water. I'm not sure there's much of a difference. The boat was no more and Shallan ended up having to make her own way to the Shattered Plains. From there, we see Shallan infiltrate the organization the Ghostbloods, grow to sort of fall in love with Adel and Colin, and get to know just a lot of our other cast of characters. We then see Shallan play a huge factor in discovering Urethru, which was very important for Shallan and the army she was with and the people she was with to take shelter there as a new desolation began and the Everstorm was summoned by the Parshendi. It is in book two that we begin to discover a lot more about Shallan's past, so while other significant things do happen in later books, I'm going to be mostly focusing on information from book two in this video, so I'm not really going to get into what Shallan does in book three and four right now. All right, moving on to which Harold is Shallan's mother. Now, it's probably a Harold that you've never heard of if you're not like a huge Cosmere scholar or Cosmere fan. It is the Harold Shanarak, the patron of the Dustbringers. Now, there's some stuff about Shanarak being referred to uh, by the diminutive Shanna or by a longer, more symmetrical name to fit into Voronism, but I'm just going to call her Shanarak for this video. Now, Shanarak is not the only female Harold, but she is the female Harold 
that best fits with the word of Brandon and the physical description that we have for Shalom's mother. Now the Harold Shanrack is often depicted with red hair, as you can see in the inside cover art for Rhythm of War, and she is said to have light blue or green eyes. However, in the prologue for Stormlight Archive 5, we get it confirmed by the Stormfather that Shanrack does in fact have flaming red hair, I believe is the exact term I'll put the quote on the screen. While the fact that Shallan's physical description doesn't necessarily mean that Shanrak is her mother, it is certainly another piece of evidence that just helps make it more realistic. Now moving into the next section, I'm going to revisit the night that Shallan killed her mother and why this is important and significant and all the details that we can get from this moment. Now, the very basic explanation of this scene is that when Shalon's mother finds out about her surge binding abilities, she gets very upset. She shows up with a stranger, and together the two of them basically try to kill Shalon. Shalon's father stops the stranger that was with Shalon's mother from hurting her, but then Shalon's mother tries to kill Shalon, and Shalon kills her mother in self defense using her shard blade testament. Now, the first important detail about that night is that the stranger that was with Shallan's mother is thought to be a skybreaker. This is significant because it shows that Shallan's mother might have been associated with Nail in the Order of the Skybreakers. Nail is another herald and is the patron of, obviously, the Skybreakers, the only order that did not break their oaths on the Day of Recreance. In the day and age that the Stormlight Archive books take place, Nail is very mentally not sound. He is known for tracking down surge binders and killing them for their crimes, which can be literally anything that he sees as a crime or thinks is illegal or shouldn't be allowed. This is basically so that he can fit it within his idea of the law because the Order of the Skybreakers is very dedicated to the law. So if Shallan's mother were to have been associated with Nail, it would make sense that when she found out about Shallan's surge binding abilities, she would want to do something about it and possibly even go as far as killing her, especially if she brought a skybreaker with her to do the deed. Another important thing to note is the fact that Shallan's mother was willing to kill her own daughter. This shows us some signs of mental instability, the fact that she was willing to not only kill a child, but her own child, and we know that pretty much all of the heralds are quite mentally unstable at this point due to have been being alive for thousands of years and for many of those years being tortured on the planet Braves. Lastly, it's an interesting note that Shallan's mother died on, I think it's Tenat 1167, the same week that Gavilar, king of Alethkar, was assassinated. Next, let's get into the two main Word of Brandon that have to deal with this topic and this theory in particular. The first Word of Brandon is that the Herald Shanarak is seen on screen by at least one character at least once in the first two books. Now, it would make sense if this one instance was during the flashbacks that Shallan had in book two. This would allow us to see Shallan's mother, and it would also make sense if she only appeared on screen once in one of the two books, because I do believe that this is the only time that we get to see Shallan's unnamed mother. The next important word of Brandon, which I will get into in the section right after this, is Brandon Sanderson confirming that the Herald Tom was not the one who broke and brought about the new desolation. The quote says this, you will find out, but Tom did not break. You'll find out how it happened, but Tom did not break. This word of Brandon led many Cosmere fans and scholars to a lot of speculation and the theory saying that Shanrak is Shallan's mother would actually explain this. And I'll get into that in the next section, which is the overall tying it all together. What questions does this theory answer? So of course, the most obvious question at this point is if Tom did not break, who did? And the answer would be Shanarak, Shallan's mother. Now, assuming that this theory is correct, 
when Shallan killed her mother with a shard blade, which we would assume is enough to kill a herald, Sh Shallan's mother, Shanarak, would have been sent to Greys, where she would be tortured along with Talm. So if Shanarak was in Braze with Talm, it would make sense that she was the one who broke and Talm did not break, like Sanderson said. The interesting thing about this is that essentially by killing her own mother in self-defense, if this theory does in fact turn out to be true, then it was in fact Shallan who inadvertently brought about a new desolation. Can you say hi? To summarize this portion, Shallan kills her mother, who is the Herald Shanarak. Shanarak goes to Braze, lasts six years before breaking and returning herself and Tom to Roshar and starting a new desolation. The next question that this theory answers is why the cryptics and the ghost bloods were so interested in Shallan and Shallan's family. Now, if Shallan were in fact to be the child of a Herald, it would make sense that these groups would be interested in her family. Now, the ghost bloods clearly show interest by giving a soul caster to Shallan's father and by just overall displaying interest in her family. This could also explain how Shallan's brother, Helran, was able to get involved with the Skybreakers because if Shallan's mother was associated with the Skybreakers, then that could give her eldest brother an in with them as well. Lastly, of course, are the cryptics, and it makes sense that they would be interested in Shallan's family and would want to keep an eye on the daughter of a herald, which would be why they sent Pattern to bond Shallan, even though Shallan already killed one spren, that being Testament. Pattern, when he is sent to Shallan, is very, very sure of the fact that Shallan will kill him someday, which shows that the cryptics know about Shallan's past and that they had sent both of these spren to bond Shallan in order to keep an eye on this daughter of a herald. Another interesting piece of this theory that deals with the word of Brandon is the fact that Shallan's second to oldest brother, Balat, likes to cause pain to animals. Now the word of Brandon on this is that Balat, his desire to be cruel towards animals and to cause pain in animals is supernaturally enhanced. Now this would make sense if he were the child of a herald because that would fill in the supernatural explanation for his desire to hurt animals. Lastly, of course, this answers the question of why Shallan's mother goes unnamed and why it is such a big mystery. It would simply be because Shallan's mother is in fact a herald and Brandon wants to keep this fact a secret for a later reveal. That is it for this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree with this theory? Are there any parts that you think I missed or other factors that play into it? Do you disagree with this theory? And if so, why? Be sure to let me know if you want to see more Stormlight Archive content or more Stormlight Archive theory breakdowns in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you in the next one.